Hello Venom Fang X, this is Mykimus. I'm replying to your response to Rabbit Ape. I hope neither of you are concerned about me kind of cutting in on your uh, debate that's going on here. Uh, there's a few points I want to touch on in your video. First, kind of as a third party, as a referee, I'm going to have to call a foul on the T-Rex issue with you. Um, you are the one who made the claim that the T-Rex was the ancestor to the chicken, not Rabbit Ape. Rabbit Ape is correct in his statement that the Archaeoteryx is the, um, basically the earliest ancestor we have found for the origin of avian flight and such. So just to let you know you're the one who made that connection between a t-rex and a chicken not rabbit ape and and there are very many more dinosaurs that existed before the t-rex now you made a statement about the bat and how it cannot be explained how the bat was created I'm not exactly an expert by any stretch of the imagination on evolution all I really know is that the, that bats are in two suborders of the higher order of Chiroptera, which is basically meaning a uh, hand wing because their f their front limbs evolved into wings, and so that's why you they gave it the fitting name Chiroptera. Now there's two suborders: the Mega Chiroptera and then the Micro Chiroptera. Now. That's just two subfamilies. They've actually separately evolved. They're from the same order, and they create their own means of evolving. They're d two completely different branches, not to be confused with uh, each other. Um, and they are the only flying mammals, so they are from the mammal kingdom. And they actually have. Um, there have been molecular studies that have actually put them with uh, carnivorans, pa pangolins, odd toed ungulates, even toed ungulates, and whales. So they're in that same general family. So that's basically how that formed. Um, I, I don't know much more than that. Now, I, I, you say that children are born into sin. I'm wondering where you get that from. Because it, if you interpret the Bible literally, which is what you've been saying this whole time, then you must have read Second Kings fourteen six at some point when he said, Yet he did not put the sons of the assassins to death, in accordance with what is written in the book of law of Moses, where the Lord commanded, Fathers shall not be put to death for their children, nor children put to death for their fathers, each is to die for his own sins. This is also corroborated in Second Chronicles 25.4. Yet he did not put same exact verse, just word for word, same exact verse. Just look it up if you don't believe me. All right, now moving on to your next point that you made about retrovirus and such, and how we could have possibly contracted the virus in the same exact location of our DNA as our primate uh, counterparts. Okay, let's just say you know, we live in a world of infinite possibilities and that actually occurred. And you said, well, you know, is this what uh, the proof of evolution hinges on? No. Actually, there's more evidence that we descended from a common ape ancestor to the great apes. Uh, just recently, um, they actually came out, I'm not sure if you've heard of this, uh, the second chromosome. Uh, situation it, it presents a very difficult situation for you because uh, and your viewpoint because um, what's happened is um, we sequenced the, the DNA of a chimpanzee and that revealed all the genetic code of the said chimpanzee now uh, what what actually was revealed from this genetic code and the sequencing of the DNA is that we actually have two fewer chromosomes than our three other closest primate relatives chimpanzee, the uh, gorilla, and the orangutan. 
uh, we actually have 46 and the great apes have 48. Now when chromosomes are used in reproduction, uh, there's two pairs. Daddy has 23, mommy has 23. When they come together, that is when a uh, baby is made. Well, when in the great apes, mommy has 24 and daddy has 24. So if evolution is to be correct, um, then there, there has to be an explanation for this or else it's all washed up. Now, there is an explanation uh, that two chromosomes fused sometime in our separation from our ancestors, um, where, whereas the great apes did not have this fusion occur. Now, determining whether or not this occurred is pretty simple because all chromosomes have markers called centromeres, and uh, they're used to separate the chromosomes during mitosis. Uh, they also have sequences on the ends called telomeres. If a pair of chromosomes became fused at some point, uh, then the telomeres would actually appear where they wouldn't belong, which is in the middle of the chromosome. So that the resulting chromosome would actually have two centromeres. Uh, one may be inactive, but there would still be two centromeres in one chromosome. And what's interesting is that it has actually been located. It is our second chromosome was fused from the 13th primate chromosome. And the exact location, if you want it, is 114,455,823, 214,455,838. This is actually within 15 bases of the location. And uh, at these locations, there's multiple sub telomeric duplications, basically telomeres where they don't belong. So th right here, this alone, how, how can you explain this, Venom Fang X? I'm just curious. Um, as to what your explanation with this would be because this is inadmissible or it is complete proof that we evolved from a common ancestor with the apes. Now I'm going to throw you for a loop here. Um, you're, you are a Bible literalist I'm, I assume. Have you ever read Genesis 126? Just out of curiosity, you probably only believe that there's one God. If not, you probably believe there's God and then Jesus Christ his son. Um, in Genesis 1.26, the reference actually says, and this is in all versions, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So, apparently there's more than one God, according to your Bible, or your interpretation, your literal interpretation of the Bible. Please explain this for me. I want to know who these other gods are that God is talking to. Because they obviously have some part in the creation process. That is just a little wild card I'm throwing out there for you. Um, as for the hyperbaric uh, oxygen chamber, I'm more than thrilled to, to wait to see what you have to say about that. I've seen Hoven's remarks. It's uncanny how similar. In fact, um, I would say downright plagiarist your arguments are um, in correlation with Hoven. I mean, I popped in a Hoven tape, and it was pretty much identical to your arguments that you have. So I'm pretty sure what you're, the argument you're going to make. So I can't wait for you to make it, So I, because I already have the material lined up to debunk it. Thanks. Hopefully you will have an open enough mind to actually uh, prove this. Um, if not, I'm going to link it to Rabbit Apes. I know he'll approve it, and so any of your followers would... All they'd have to do is look at Rabbit Apes video and click on mine. So just keep an open mind. Allow my video to be posted so that viewers can make their own decision. If you truly believe in truth, then you have nothing to fear.